Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of What I Eat in a Day. Today I'm sharing with you all a favorite detox drink of mine. It is not only delicious but is also very beneficial. To make this drink, I have added cucumber, lime, cilantro that is coriander leaves and ginger. This detox drink is backed with flavors and bursting with health benefits. From aiding digestion to boosting immunity, this drink has it all. Today I'm taking you along for a glimpse into my day, showcasing what a typical day looks like for me. Remember those cute little chicks I showed you in my last video? Well, it's been two days and I'm thrilled to share this progress with you. These adorable bundle of fluff are now confidently walking by their mother's side, following her every move. It's 7.30 in the morning and I'm back in the kitchen to kick things off with a delicious and nutritious breakfast. Today I'm making poha, a simple yet satisfying dish that's not only tasty but also great for weight loss. It's packed with flavors and wholesome ingredients. This recipe is sure to fuel your day ahead. To this I'm adding one large onion, two green chilies, Also adding 6 to 8 cloves of crushed garlic. I'm roasting some peanuts to elevate its texture and flavor. The crunch from the roasted peanuts go very well with the softness of poha. I'm taking out the peanuts in a separate bowl and adding a little bit of oil to make the poha. To this I'm adding some mustard seeds some curry leaves. Now I'm adding in the crushed garlic. Saute it really well and then add in the green chilies. Now I'm adding in the onions. salt and turmeric. Finally, I'm adding in the poha. I soaked the poha for about 3 to 4 minutes, drained off the excess water and kept it out for around 5 minutes. Now I'm mixing it really well to absorb all the flavors. Lastly, I'm adding in some chopped coriander. Just about 10 minutes, healthy and delicious poha using simple ingredients is ready.
Whether you're planning your day ahead or simply taking a moment to relax, coffee has a magical way of adding a touch of comfort to any morning routine. As I was enjoying my morning coffee, I noticed a commotion outside. To my surprise, a group of monkeys had decided to drop by for a feast. They were swinging from tree to tree, grabbing some coconuts and munching on some bananas. At 10:15, we headed to the market to get some fresh produce. As I was strolling through the market, I saw some freshly caught sea fish. I saw some mackerels, so I bought a few to make some fish cutlets. I have nicely cut and cleaned the mackerel. It is also known as bangude in Kannada and Tulu. I'm adding some turmeric and salt. A cup of water to nicely boil the fish. As a Mangalorean, seafood holds a special place in my heart. and there's nothing quite like the taste of fresh fish straight from the market now i've placed the potatoes in the cooker and added enough water to cover them completely now to make the cutlet mixture i have taken one large onion some green chilies around 2 to 3 depending upon the spiciness some coriander leaves and 1 inch ginger Using this chopper, I have nicely chopped off all the onions, green chilies, and the other ingredients. This saves a lot of time and gives uniform and fine pieces of. Cup. To a bowl, I'm adding in the boiled potatoes. To this, I'm adding in the flesh of the mackerels. I have deboned the fish completely. It does take a lot of effort and patience to do this process, but it's worthwhile. Now I'm adding in the chopped ingredients. For the dry ingredients, I'm adding some turmeric, some chili powder, coriander powder, jeera or cumin powder. I'm adding in a little bit of ginger garlic paste about 1 to 1 and a half tablespoon. Also I'm adding a little bit of garam masala powder. At this stage as the fish and the potatoes are already cooked, we can taste the mixture and add in extra ingredients as per our taste. Lastly, I'm adding in a little bit of lemon juice for that extra tanginess. The mixture can be used immediately or can also be stored in the fridge and used for 2 to 3 days. I am a working woman and I do not get a lot of time during the weekdays to cook. I usually make this mixture on a Sunday evening so that I can store it in the fridge and use it for the next 2 days. To make the slurry, I'm adding in one large egg. I'm beating the egg nicely till the egg yolk and the egg white is completely incorporated. For the coating I'm using Bombay rava. Usually people prefer to use bread crumbs but I did not like the texture and the taste the sweetness of the bread crumbs and also it is not that healthy. Rava gives a nice texture and also the coating remains a lot crispier. I've taken a generous amount of the cutlet mixture and giving it a nice flat round shape.
Now I will first dip it in the egg mixture and then into the rava. Make sure to completely coat the cutlets with rava so that the mixture doesn't separate while frying. To a pan, I've added some oil and I'm frying the cutlets in medium to low heat. I'm flipping the cutlets when it's a little brownish or golden in color. We don't have to cook it for a long time since the ingredients in the mixture are already cooked. You can have these cutlets as an evening snack or also for lunch. I prefer to have it for lunch with my rice, some sambar and some cutlets to go along. That's all for today. If you like my videos, please do share, like and subscribe for more.